Loma, Loma killed him in the eleventh round. But as good as the round that Loma had in the eleventh round, it was burning me out that he kept letting Deb like recover and all of that. You get what I'm saying? Because you were just hitting him with some some stuff that he ain't never get hit with before. So it was just like, why are you letting up? What is wrong with you? You get what I'm saying? But I'm like, all right, he giving himself a break because he about to snap in the twelfth round. Last weekend. Uh, we had a really interesting fight, Devin Haney, Lomachenko. This fight's still been a really hot topic over the week. Although we about to go into the Errol Spence, Tams Crawford, like, wonderful buildup. But I still wanted to make this video because I watched the fight so many times. It's, a, it's just a great fight to watch, ultimately. Um, I want to say this. Yeah, it was, it was a great fight to watch, ultimately. And I was disappointed in a lot of people that that uh, overreacted, um, that said robberies and things like that. I was I was a little disappointed, and I, and I'm not saying uh, Devin necessarily won or whatever. I'm I'm okay with the decision, but to call it a robbery was a little blasphemous. But what I want to do is I want to break down. Um, and clearly, I'm qualified to break this down because you motherfuckers with y'all, uh, you know, whatever makes y'all think y'all qualified. You mean I'm qualified to break this down? Now, y'all, y'all, y'all show me that I'm qualified to break this down. So, I love, I love the announcers. You mean Joe Tessitore? He just got the good broadcasting voice. You mean you got Timothy Bradley? You got a motherfucker, legend Andre Ward, Timothy Bradley, a legend too. I like they Jones, right? But ultimately, I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna break down the championship rounds. You get what I'm saying? And then I'm gonna tell you why, what rounds I picked, who I picked winning. And we're gonna see who really won that 12th round. Um, and yeah, I think that, I think that's important, but. And, and who really just won the fight, ultimately. But I'm only going to use the film of the championship rounds. I think it's going to be good, you mean? Because, yeah, all right, this is another thing. Like, when I'm watching a fight, I might listen to the, the announcers. Like, I, I can have it on low or whatever, you feel me? But at this point, I feel like I watch so many fights, I kind of tune them out and just pay attention to what's going on, you feel me? Like, Because, like, it's a sport. I don't really be needing people to tell me what I'm watching. You know what I mean? Like, I'm watching this shit. Like, I like to hear Andre Ward. I like to hear Timothy Batty. I'd be funny when they're going back and forth and all that. But I don't even let them irk me no more because I kind of just mute them out. You get what I'm saying? I kind of want to hear the sound of the punches. I want to hear the ooze of eyes. But low-key, I was in the car watching this fight, like, on my phone and shit. So, yeah, that was the, the, the vibe of watching the fight. You know what I'm saying? I was working. I had to, like, stop working for a little bit just to watch the fight. Um, but yeah, we're going to get into the uh, championship rounds, round 10, 11, and 12. I think were very important rounds, and knowing what happened in them rounds is very important. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to break that down, okay? <clears throat> and I'm breaking down the commentary as well, along with the, with the round. Because, like, for me... When I'm watching a fight, I want to say this too. When I'm watching a fight, like the way you win in the round to me is like, all right, who's who's um, dominating the, the the ring? I'm saying the ring generalship and all that cool shit. I mean, um, who's in control, which is the ring generalship? Who's doing the work? You feel me? When are they doing the work? If if you if you've been working for two and a half minutes and somebody come in the last 30 seconds and they on a type time. Like, is that a join? Like, should I give you the round? Cause you landed some hard punches at the end of the round. I don't know if the judges do what they do, but we're going to look at the round. We're going to decide together who's winning the round. And we're going to decide if the announcers are aligned with who's winning the round. I think it's important to say, um, coming out of the ninth round, Devin landed some big shots. That was a round I gave Devin. 
I had gave Bloom in the eighth. Um, but I think the eighth round was a very hard round to score. This round reminds me of the eighth round, and I'm going to explain why. So we're going to see the round start. Dre, you talk about the mental pressure of this matchup. Listen, to me, these are the championship rounds. I don't score 11 and 12. I score 10, 11, and 12. That's 10, 11, and 12 championship both rounds. fighters need as many of these three rounds as they can. It's pretty even because round right now. We don't know how these both judges are scoring. We it. think we know. We but. don't know. When it's a clear-cut win, we don't know. So we certainly don't know in this moment. The mental pressure is still on, but both fighters got to find a way. Yeah, at this point, it's even to me. I don't see I Loma dominating. I don't see Devin dominating. He was. I think they both like doing well. Was that? Getting a feel for each other. He's on to me. <laughs> he knows exactly what Loma I'm Loma just threw a sneaky punch, and that Devin just threw a sneaky punch. So that high Stop. boxing IQ. He's able to figure See, him out. It's a minute into the fight. We got and Timothy Bradley talking about Loma. Devin got, Loma got Devin figured out. Oh, good shot. That hurt he hurt him with that. From Lomachenko. that hurt him. Lomachenko's best moment of the fight. It comes in round okay. 10. Joe no Tessitore goes crazy. Right on the top. That was amazing, though, by Loma. I love that. He's been throwing that all night. He wasn't really landing as good, but he's, he's landing there. Lomachenko. That's the kind of separation that either guy needs to try to put themselves in a position where they can get a clear cut decision. Okay. Combination on the inside from Lomachenko halfway through round 10. Hold on. So, so Joe Lomachenko wait, now wait. is timing the single shot. Did we just miss something? Glad I just heard Joe Tessitore say combination on the inside. Yeah. Did, did he just do another combination? Did he just do another combination? Like, stop playing with my intelligence. Y'all can play with them. You see, y'all can play with. You can't play with me. Stop fucking playing with me, pussy. Like, you, 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 you bugging. Of Haney. Like, he come out and say, oh, this is the best exchange of the night. He wait 15 more seconds to say, combination on the inside by Loma. Like, how many joints you gonna do for one joint? See, y'all don't be using y'all brick. You can watch the fight. A little bit of swelling around the left eye of Devin Haney. Short right hand from Haney on the inside. Little shots of Haney. A little bit of swelling around the left we eye got of Devin, Devin Haney. Short back right hand from Haney on the inside. He's trying his best to build his back. He's doing his thing, though. His Loma, Loma, the Loma, Loma answering yeah, back. He ain't, he ain't working on that Murphy inside. Doc will separate him. That's not a dirty move. That's but Loma ain't really physical, separated himself. So he's up, though, in the round. Don't get it fucked up. He's up in the round. It's completely legal. But he's see, answering Loma's back. Not back so everything that he's Devin not moving does. backwards. He's walking forward now. Facts. He is walking little forward. Little inching forward. Left hand I ain't gonna lie. At this point in the fight, very good tenth round. I'm rooting for Loma. I don't want to try to get fucked up. I'm rooting for Loma. He had the full underdog going. And at this point, it's hard not to root for him because you just, you just you feel it coming. It feels like a movie. Hit early in the, fight. the inevitable is about to come. And Loma's about to be a superhero. Loma again, there it is. Jab. He comes in with Stop. the left hand again, does Loma. He's already but you out here with Andre Ward said, Devin Haney's been hit more this round than any other round in the fight. All right, cool. That's cool, though. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? That's cool, guys. But it's the 10th round. <laughs> it's not the 6th round. It's not the 7th round. It's not the 5th round. It's the 10th round. It's a little late to be saying that. I figured, he figured out the sequence already. Loma has figured out the sequence. Loma has figured out the sequence already. He's saying already, like, it's the third round. Already. Like, you feel me? Like, what's y'all job? You mean? Like, I'm on y'all job, but y'all not trying to let the people know y'all job. What's your job, cuz? Now you see him moving back. He's setting traps now for that left hand. Big round. I mean, yeah, the clearest round for Lomachenko uh -oh. of the night with the best exchange. In the most productive combination that he's had, the tenth round, Lomachenko.
That was a close round. The tenth round to me was like the eighth round was a close round. I gave both those rounds to Loma though. I definitely gave both those rounds to Loma. You get what I'm saying? It's a little late to be having the, the cleanest exchange and the clearest. You mean like it, it just I need some better commentary on these rounds. But like I said, I understand because coming from my standpoint, I know it's weird. It, I don't typically go from rooting for one fighter to the other fighter. I'm usually stuck on who I'm rooting for. So this was actually like really incredible that this, something like this never happened to me. I don't think it ever happened to me. You get what I'm saying? I usually just be like, damn, like, all right, he nice, tip my hat off to him. But it was like, I was rooting for death and I started rooting for Loma. Like, so I'm really paying attention to the fight. But it's just like, you know, that was a bit crazy. Joe Tessitore, you know what I mean? And, 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 and Timothy Bradley. But I had him winning that round. But I think it was a close round. There's definitely nothing like this round. This round, I love this round. You know I mean, it was all gas, no brakes. You know I mean, I feel like he's like that the whole fight. I mean, more in the fight. Then he easily wins. Because I don't feel like Dev hurt Loma more than Loma hurt Dev. Loma definitely hurt Dev more. You get what I'm saying? But it happens like that. You feel me? I was rooting for AJ when he fought Usyk. AJ most definitely hurt Usyk more that last fight. Usyk outboxed him. Like, it is what it is. You know I mean? I had to live to eat that. You know what I'm saying? Was clean. Got Devin Haney's attention. And he definitely hurt Devin Haney in that last round. Let's check in with Bernardo. I was just in the corner of Devin Haney, and as he was getting instructions from his father, Harvey Dock came over and said, watch those shots to the back of the head. Okay, I'm going to take a point. He did give warnings okay, earlier, so we will watch for that. You see the advantage of Lomachenko with the punches landed in the last round. After that last round, a clear Lomachenko round, Tim Bradley. Here he comes. Bill Haney told his son, you're winning the fight. There is under six minutes. Yeah, I ain't like that from Bill either. Okay. Oh. Lomachenko. the fight. Combination from Lomachenko again. Championship rounds and Lomachenko. And, and I has also momentum. want to say this, right? Them using the stats was a little overstated as well because throughout the whole fight, number one, I think Loma probably threw damn near 100 or more plus punches in, in Dev. Loma was throwing a lot of flurries that wasn't even touching Dev. You know what I'm saying? I remember it was a competitive round early in the fight. I don't remember the exact round. It was a competitive round early in the fight where. They was talking about Loma's work, and I would have gave the round to Loma because at least five different times he threw out these six punch, seven punch combinations. But let's say at least two of the five times he didn't land anything. Like it was zero. So it's just like, ah, I can't give you nothing. You actually look corny now. You get what I'm saying? Now you look shitty. You know what I mean? Like you niggas ain't really on the job. But all right. Okay. Oh, Devin throwing some shit. Razor close. Devin throwing some shit, so but he just got cracked. Okay, Loma on his ass. Okay. You know what I mean? Now Devin is on it. Where either the young fighter is gonna rise his game right now, or he's gonna fade. This is Loma Chenko has that experience. He can feel it. He on his ass now. Haney fading right now. That's why he's stepping on the gas, testing him, trying to knock him out. Up jab, south pole jab, and another one. Lomachenko so accurate right here in round number 11. And physical, Tess. And he's physical. looking like the bigger man right now yeah. with the physicality. Yeah, Loma working. And he's got to figure this out now. And like I said, I'm rooting for Loma, but at this point, no, he's, he's irking me. Next round, the smaller, the smaller so why are you not pressing gas on him? Seems okay, like there we the go. Now I'm hype again. Man. Combination from Everything they saying is on the beam. Loma is on the beam right now. Mm -hmm. shit out of that. Jab from Loma that snaps back the right. head of Haney. And I'm not seeing the answer from Haney like we have throughout this fight. And his technique has gone yeah. by the wayside, meaning Haney. That's the reason why Loma is having success. Mm -hmm. Oh, body beautiful shot body shot. Look at this work shot. from Loma Chico. Yes. He got Joe Tessa to a height. They questioned how much he had left. That's the trap. This is when you rise. These are the moments right here. He went away for nearly a year to serve his country. Defending Ukraine. 
He came back, had a shake off rust. See, and, and at this point, looking at, at this point, Loma is irking me. At this point, Loma is irking me. Like, what are you doing, Pat? What are you doing? You know what I'm saying? What are you doing? I don't know what Devin Haney is feeling in his body, but if he loses a close decision by one or two rounds, three rounds, he's going to Three rounds? Three rounds, Jerry? And being more assertive in this 10th, 11th, and we'll see about Three rounds. This has been all Vasily Lomachenko. These last two rounds have been Lomachenko. And that 10th round was close. What will I mean, he tell him next? It wasn't like to the twelfth and final round. It was close. Let's yeah. listen in. It's the last round. See, at this point, I'm like Loma finishing. I'm with the Loma finish for me, but I ain't gonna lie. I got dev up. I got dev up. I'm not gonna uh, no. Do I got that up? I don't know what I got. I'd say it. Loma trying to leave a last impression for the judges right now. Beautiful yeah. sequence right there. The two one. Loma, Loma killed even that 11. Part of the but touch up, touch up. Great shot right there. As good as the round that Loma had in that 11th round, it was burning me out that he kept letting Deb like recover and all of that. You get what I'm saying? Because you were just hitting him with some, some stuff that. He ain't never get hit with before. So it was just like, why are you letting up? What is wrong with you? You get what I'm saying? But I'm like, all right, he's giving himself a break because he about to snap in the 12th round. That's what I'm saying. You know I mean? But I'm still knowing that every round is a different round. I'm not looking at the 12th round like it's the 11th round because it's the 11th round. Like, no, I'm, I'm just, all right, they took their break. You get what I'm saying? Loma cooked them. To be honest, I'm going to say this too. I feel like Loma would have worked them last 30 seconds and not wrestled so much. He damn near probably could have got a 10-8 round in the 11th round because he dominated that round. But he got this thing in this fight where he was just taking breaks. Both and final rounds of the and that's at all. The, it's, yeah, that's not there. Well, go ahead. Lomachenko starts this 12th round with a connect advantage of... So Joe Joe Tessitore is letting you guys know what's his connect advantage, right? Okay. So we got Devin working right now. We got Loma stalking. We got Loma leading. We got Loma leading now. We got Loma leading. We got Dev touching on the inside. Loma just led the last two exchanges. We got Loma jabbing. We got Devin jabbing back. This first round is is, is tight. I mean, this last this first minute is tight. Okay. Haney just landed the more meaningful punches, but Loma still answered back. Okay. Yeah. He just he just did what Timothy Bradley said. It's just it's not meaningful. He missing. Hmm. Okay. So now it's just feeling like it's feeling like Devin is getting the lead, but Loma's still on him. Like Loma Loma's stalking. You gotta close. Come on. Show your greatness. Mm -hmm. okay. This is time. Loma Show punching it. out of range. He threw a flurry, but it wasn't meaningful. He ain't sit down on nothing. He smothered himself. He's stalking. Good defense right but there from Loma. He's Stay letting Dev lead Stay and he's not Stay punching with Dev. There it is. Good combos from Loma. Here, Here we go. come. Good okay. counter from Haney. Haney tries to Man. go underneath with a right hand. Back and forth action. 45 right. seconds left. Who's going to close? Good shot okay. right there from Haney. Right Good hand tap. from Haney again, Dre. 
little touch up top from Loma. But Loma staying close enough. She sees staying close enough, absorbing that body shot, and he's throwing his left hand right after. Comes with the left hand, yeah. and then they talk about the Loma staying close, but I mean, of a close round. Yeah. Look this this round still. counts. Loma still right there. So he tries to go underneath mm -hmm. the body again. One went low, was... one was good. Good shot right there from uh -huh. Two body shots Will from Dev. Steal it in the final moment. This this Dev this, this Devin round right now. Oh, that's clear. The that's Devin round. That's clear. High drama. That's Devin round. That's clear. Loma combination. Haney back to the round. Hey, that was great stuff. You won. That was Amazing. great, great. Yeah. High you won. Level you won. Stuff. I had it one sixteen, one thirteen. Yeah, one sixteen, one thirteen. All right, one sixteen, one thirteen. How you have a 116-113? Watch the fight. The seventh round was even. If you picking somebody in the seventh round, it's because you you a dick eater. Seventh round was dead even to me. Yeah, facts. Seventh round was even. You know what I mean? Like, that's what it is. It ain't no other way. I'm going to keep it a being with you. The seventh round was even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Seventh round was 10-10 round. You couldn't tell me nothing. You know what I mean? But, um... Yeah, overall, like, y'all hold John of, like, I had Dev winning rounds one, two, four, six, and nine. And 12. Yeah. So, one, two, four, five, six, nine, twelve. So, that's seven rounds right there. And then you could give Loma the seven if it makes you feel better. But I'm telling you, the seventh round was dead even. It was a 10-10 round. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right. I leave the fight like this. Loma could have did more. Right? I feel like Loma could have did more. Uh, body work early. He took too many breaks for me. The punch is strong versus all of that. That's like for confusion. If you're watching a fight, the, the totality of the fight, Loma wasn't punching enough, you know what I'm saying? And Andre Ward was saying it all night. He needs to start going to the body more. You get what I'm saying? But he 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 waited for a long time to go to the body. I don't know if he was storing energy. I don't know if Devin's body shots was just truly hurting him. You know, I know Dev caught him with some nasty left hooks that did hurt him because he was stuck in his tracks. Like he was about to be on quicksand. But like I said, the, the way the fight went, it was almost impossible not to root for Loma because it's like he there, he's throwing the shots, but it's like he can't find them. And then it's like he's getting closer and closer. And now he's finding them and he wasn't really active. So now it's just like, yo, you, you coming from behind. It was like a movie. So it's like, now I need you to win. You know what I'm saying? I need you to really come back and win this show. You know what I'm saying? But he ain't really win that show. Like, he started to, but he was like too late. Like he could have got, I wanted him to, he could have got a knockdown. You feel me? And like I said, he was winning 11 rounds so good that he could have pressed the issue more in them last 30 seconds, make it get real ugly. You get what I'm saying? Maybe a slip, they would have called it a knockdown. Maybe it would have been like, it's so dominated. One of these judges would have scored it 10 8. You get what I'm saying? Like, yo, you ain't do nothing. It's a 10 8 round. For me, really trying to show you love, but he was like, you was on some cocky shit. And I get it. Devin wasn't hurting you in the beginning, but you wasn't really landing anything effective. You was throwing more, but he was landing more. You know what I'm saying? You ain't start landing more until later. So it was just like, it's not that thorough when you're throwing a bunch of punches and none of them land. That's like, you look like a fucking amateur. You know what I'm saying? That's why you is the greatest amateur of all time. You're the greatest amateur of all time, but they spiced you. Yeah, yeah, they spiced your whole joint. Yeah, yeah, your joint is spiced, cuz. I'm saying you a spice boy. You know I mean, I'm not feeling your joint. No, no. You know I mean, I'm not feeling your joint. You need a new joint. You know I mean, you ain't on your joint no more. Your joint is trash. You bitch. You a bitch. Yeah, you was a bitch, Loma. What you talking about? No, but listen, man. I said what I said. I don't think, you mean, Dev is beating um, certain people. Take it how you want. 
It is what it is. I'm still a fan of Dev. I don't care for him to go fight Tank right now. I don't care for him to go fight Shakur. You know I mean? No, I don't think he's better than Richardson Hitchens. You know what I'm saying? It's not because he Haitian and I'm Haitian. It's because I watch boxing and I don't care about these niggas' names and all that freaky shit. You know what I mean? I don't really care about your belt. You know what I mean? But I'm happy for you on some just black man bar shit. Devin Haney is a great example to me for all athletes. You know what I mean? Period. Like, fuck, it's not just about boxing with Devin Haney. So I don't want to see Devin Haney lose. I don't want to see him fight somebody, he lose, and then they say he corny, and now motherfuckers that can wear with him or whatever. Like, I really don't care if he ever fight, because, you know what I'm saying? But I know people don't want to hear that. No, it's boxing. Let the athletes fight each other. Okay. All right. I'm saying a lot of these niggas was just going around fighting Mexicans and all these other different niggas up until they time to fight. You know what I mean? I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'm really cool with that. I mean, I know people don't be wanting to hear that though. You know what I'm saying? But I'm cool with that. You know what I mean? But no, ultimately, I don't feel like Devin right now, I don't feel like his buzz matches his ability. You know what I'm saying? I feel like he got a little bit more buzz than ability. At the moment, and that's fine. He's young, like you know. So that goes to show you how good he really is. Like we just got to see a new, an improved punch variation out of him. He threw a lot of things out, and he was effective. You know, saying he won the fight in my eyes. I wanted to see him move his head more. I mean, I wanted to see him throw more off the turns. Like he was turning good, but it wasn't all the times he was punching off them Jones, but. I mean, you went to the body, like, what more can you ask for? I'm saying, go to 140, do your thing. Make these niggas hate you more. I'm saying, beat up whoever you got beat up. And then, I'm saying, holler at these niggas when it's time to get the big bucks. But if you go fuck with Shakur or Tank now, because, like, I mean, it's not it's not going to be a good joint. You're going to get paid. But, yeah, I don't know. Take out you want. But it's not gonna be a good joint. I'm gonna keep it being. But I keep it a bean. Like, I mean, Loma was never the boy that they trying to make him seem. Maybe at 130, 126. Yeah, he's thorough. He's thorough. But we're not about to make it seem like he's a thorough lightweight, though. You know what I mean? Because as a lightweight, he's average. No, he's good. He's a good fighter. He's a great fighter. He tried his best, man. He tried his best. I don't think Devin is close to his best. Maybe he is. He might be peaking. I don't know. I don't know. I'm saying. I don't know if the power is going to come. I don't think the power is going to come. I think he's going to get smarter in there. You know what I'm saying? I love to see him take chances. I've been asking for this out of Dev for the longest. Just from a distance. And now he can hear me. But I just always wanted to see Dev uh, take chances. And he took a lot of chances. So that's always good to me. Like That's how you become a better fighter from what I see. So, yeah. Sky's the limit. Loma dick up till you hiccup, bitch. ESPN, you niggas is disgusting. You niggas, Polymon Naji, you's a nut. You mean you're joining?